Hello, this is Brent Johnson, reference librarian at Widener University Law Library. This screencast is going to be about uh, statutory research online using primarily the Thomas and GPO access sites available uh, through the United States government. As you might remember from the in-class part of statutory research, in print, if the publication uh, format for uh, laws comes in three forms. Uh, laws will be published first as slip laws or slip slip laws. So each individual law as it's passed and signed by the uh, president will have an individual slip law that will be mailed to the library or be digitized and uploaded to the internet. Then at the end of each session, these slip laws will be bound together in chronological order as session laws within the statutes at large. And then finally, these laws will be codified by subject matter arrangement into the US code by title and section. So all three forms of, these, of this uh, legislative process are available in print in the library or available online, either for free through a government website or through LexisNexis or Westlaw. Um, two words of caution as we start our journey on electronic research into statu statutes. Uh, one, make sure that you verify the accuracy of your information that you find on an electronic database. So basically know your database. Uh, know how authoritative and accurate it is and whether you can rely on the information contained there. And then secondly, make sure you note how current the information is on any given website. For example, the screenshot down below from the uh, GPO Access website pulling up uh, Title 8 of the US Code. You'll notice in the top left corner it says this is current through the laws in effect of January 3, 2006. Now this screenshot was done in just a couple of days ago, so we're talking a year and a half, a uh, year and a half out of date. So if you were to rely on GPO access, it might be in your best interest to further update your research somehow to make sure that there hasn't been any changes to the legislation since January of 2006. Okay, on the bills and slip laws. Uh, bills and slip laws are available in print through the government printing office. Or if you don't want to go to the law library, you can find slip laws and bills available on the internet through either the Library of Congress's Thomas website, uh, thomas.loc.gov, or through the GPO Printing Office's website, uh, gpoaccess.gov. I'm going to take us into thomas.loc.gov, and you'll see here's the main screen. Search by bill text, or you can browse by bill sponsor. If you're fortunate enough to have a public law citation, you can click here, public laws, select your select Congress session, and then select which range of bill numbers, click view, and it'll take you into a list and you can just uh, quickly find your public law that way. If you don't have a public law citation, you'll need to uh, search. So I'm going to click on the search multiple and previous Congresses. Uh, for today's exercise, I'm going to let's say that we're interested in finding the Patriot Act, the USA Patriot Act. So I'm going to enter Patriot Act as a phrase. I'm going to search as an exact match only. And I'm going to search all Congresses for enrolled bills that were sent to the president because I know it was passed by the president. And I'm going to click search. Scroll through my searches, search results here. When your search re, uh, results come back, it'll be any piece of legislation or bill that has the term Patriot Act somehow in the legislation. So the original USA Patriot Act, as well as anything that modified or amended it from the point in which it was enacted. So. In this case, it looks like number 16 is probably my uh, my USA Patriot Act, as enrolled and agreed upon by the House and the Senate. So I'm going to click on 
the H.R. 3162, that's the bill number, House of Representatives, Bill 3162. I can click here for the text of the, uh, of the bill. That was the, uh, that was codified as the U.S. Patriot Act. Uh, if I want more information, I can go to Bill Summary and Status. Uh, the All Information link will lead me to not only to the text, but also to uh, links to links to legislative history, uh, committee reports, and things like that. In the case of the USA Patriot Act, it was passed so fast there really isn't any legislative history to link to. Okay. From, uh, from the bill text page here, there's also in the top left corner, I can link to the GPO's PDF display. So I can get a, uh, I can get a screenshot PDF version of the House bill that is the U.S. Patriot Act. So that's bills and slip laws. Uh, the session laws are available through the GPO Access website, but only currently only the second session of the 109th is uploaded in the uh, in the statute at large format. So I'll go in here. I'll run a quick search on Patriot Act. And I'll click submit, and I can see here 2006. The, uh, the Patriot Act was extended for another year. So here's the uh, session law for 109-170, which extended the USA Patriot Act until March 10 of 2006. So that's the uh, session laws on GPO access. 